Hey there. I'm so glad that you joined me today because, you know, I just decided to record an episode about something that happened to me this past weekend that I know will be helpful for you. And let me tell you what happened. Okay. So um, I have a group here in Frisco, Texas called Chicks in Charge. And I'm the leader of this group of women who are entrepreneurs and leaders at their respective businesses. And one of the women in my group, her name is Alyssa Ellis. Uh, her the name of her business is called Turnkey Style. She is a stylist and um, she performs closet edits for people. And I was like, what the heck is a closet edit? And so Alyssa and I got to talking about a month ago at an event. And she was telling me that she comes in, she, you literally, it's a four hour session. And you, uh, you know, for me, I literally tried on every single piece of clothing hanging up in my closet, every single piece. Okay. And that's why it takes four hours to do is because it's quite the process, but oh my gosh, y'all, I seriously, I cleaned out, I think six bags of clothes out of my closet, you know, things that I hadn't worn in forever, things that were either too big or too small or just didn't, wasn't my style anymore. Um, because frankly, I mean, let's be honest, I, I own my own business now. I'm not working for somebody else. And so my style is a lot different. It just is. And of course, post COVID, you know, I find that I wore, wear more pants now. Um, I have some really cute tops and some fun jewelry and, you know, that I zhuzh things up a little bit, but my, my style is different than when I worked, um, in corporate, you know, before I had my business, I was chief of public affairs for a state elected official. And I wore tons of dresses and jackets and that kind of thing. And I just don't wear the dresses anymore. I, I have the jackets still, but I just don't wear the dresses. And so a lot of my wardrobe or just pieces that I just wasn't wearing anymore, frankly. So, um, so we cleaned all of that out and went through this whole process of trying everything on and making new outfits with the things that I have, because I'm terrible at that. That's one thing, you know, when it comes to style, it's like, I have such appreciation for people who can show up and put outfits together and that kind of thing, because I have absolutely never freaking been that way. I can point to something and go, Ooh, I like that. And I wish I had that, but I couldn't put it together if my life depended on it. I just couldn't. So Alyssa came in, helped me clean out all the crap that I wasn't wearing and put together outfits um, that were super cute that I would have never known to put together in the first place. And, you know, she's in my closet for four hours and we just get to talking about all sorts of things. And our business, of course, is a big topic that came up. And, um, you know, it's funny on Zoom videos, especially I've got a couple of consulting clients that I work with that we've worked together for a long time now. And, you know, I've noticed on our Zoom calls that some of the other consultants that I work with as well too, depending on who's leading the call, you know, they'll show up in a, a cute shirt, but yet you know, like no makeup and haven't really, you know, done much with their hair or whatever. It's pulled back in a ponytail, which of course mine is right now too, but um, I actually did something with my hair. Y'all can't see this. You're probably in the shower or in the car or whatever, but I'm um, looking at my hair right now. I always do my hair in the morning and I always put on a spot of makeup as well too, because you just don't, you don't know who you're going to run into, right? So Alyssa and I got to talking about just style, even on Zoom videos. And, you know, because so many people, I can't tell you how many Zoom videos I've been on where, you know, owners of companies and, you know, executives, they show up on a Zoom call very casual, like very casual. <laughs> and, you know, even I have been, or they do video off and I freaking hate that. Like if we're going to get on Zoom, at least let me see your face. I don't like this whole video off thing that people do now. I mean, it's like, okay, are you paying attention to me or are you not paying attention to me? I can't tell because... It's a black screen in front of me and I can't see your face. So, but we were talking about Zoom and how people have just really gotten casual. And Alyssa made the comment and I was like, oh my God, that's so good. I'm going to talk about this. Um, she made the comment. She was like, even if you're on Zoom, Heather, you're the CEO of your business. And if you show up on Zoom and you're, even if it's a cute top or whatever, and, and you're not fully put together, are you really representing your brand? to the best of your ability. And I was like, Oh Lord. Yes. I mean, she's totally right. 
Totally right. And so I'm going to challenge you to be thinking about that for your business or even as an executive. You're working from home, which how many people, I mean, I can tell you right now that my husband with his big, huge company, I mean, he works from home still a couple of days a week. Um, you still, you still got to look the part as the managing partner or the CEO, right? You still have to look that part. You know, there's research and there's this book that I've been reading it's called Q's, C-U-E-S, uh, by a woman by the name of Vanessa Van Edwards. And, um, you know, in the book, she talks about the nonverbal cues that we all signal. Um, and, and we do this by our clothing that we wear as well, too. So if you're showing up on Zoom with a potential client and you're wearing a sweatshirt that you wore to work out that morning... And say that you're working with that client to, and like in my case, you know, I want to secure a $10,000 speaking gig or whatever, or you're selling, you know, auditing services for your big, you know, accounting firm or what, whatever you do, whatever that big ticket thing is, is someone going to want to buy or spend, you know, a, a large amount of money with you if you show up like you just either rolled out of bed or came home from the gym and hopped online? How much, I mean, if you really think about it, are people really going to want to buy from you if you're not putting in the time, effort, and energy to make yourself look like, hey, I'm a force to be reckoned with. Like, you want to buy from me because I'm about as professional as they get. You know, and I thought uh, it, this book, uh, again, that I've been reading with Vanessa Van Edwards, I mean, she talks about the science and the research behind that. I mean, even just by putting on makeup in the morning and putting on a cute outfit, I've got my cute outfit on right now, too, for that matter, but just it'll make you feel better about yourself. You're going to come across more confident. You're going to put your shoulders back. You're going to stand firmer to the ground. Just how you present yourself is going to be so much more effective than if you don't. It just will be. And so when it comes to our nonverbal communication strategies, our nonverbal communication tactics, how you present yourself, how you show up, is is a big one, y'all. It's a it's a big one. Um, I think I've said this uh, percentage or stati statistic before, but it's like ninety three percent of people have already determined whether they're going to listen to you, pay attention to you, buy whatever it is that, that you're trying to sell to them, based on nonverbal cues. That's huge. Okay. So, you know, I talk a lot about identifying, you know, who, how to quickly identify. Uh, the personality, the communication style of the person that's sitting across the table from you. And if you haven't downloaded my checklist about this, like you're crazy, you need to go do this because it is a game changer in business. So if you go to the, my, whether on LinkedIn or on um, Instagram, and also if you just go to my website, heatherlyle.com backslash resources, um, I have at the very top of that page, I've got my, um, it's my free cheat sheet on how to identify communication types and how to communicate with each particular type as well too. You need to go download that cheat sheet because uh, again, it will completely change the way that you go about communicating um, with other other personality types that are not the same as you, which is like everybody practically. <laughs> so anyway, just go download the cheat sheet. It'll save you. It'll save you a lot of time in trying to figure people out. That's for sure. But all of that being said, it's like I can teach you all of these communication strategies, but if you're not working on the nonverbal communication strategy side of things, you're missing the boat as well too, okay? So so I just, again, had to share my closet edit experience from this past weekend because how you're showing up is really reflective as to A, how much money people are going to want to spend with you and if they're going to take you for serious and as a professional that you are as well too. So, so you got to show up in a way that's going to land with your perfect client. Hey, if your perfect client's going to show up in a sweatshirt and that works for you, more power to you. But if you're looking to sell high ticket anything, whether that's high ticket homes, high ticket packages for you're, you're a lawyer or an accountant and you know there's lots of money on the line, you might want to think about how you're showing up, Okay. So go grab that cheat sheet, do yourself a favor, that'll help you tremendously. And I tell you what, if you haven't read the book Cues by Vanessa Van Edwards, you got to do that too. 
And in the meantime, I look forward to talking with y'all next week. Take care.